Hi, and welcome to this very short comparison. Um, I posted a video some weeks ago and uh, I used my Fender Telecaster in it. It's a Fender American Performer Telecaster. And Steve Burrows, uh, who, who's been kind enough to make a couple of comments and ask uh, a couple of questions, which is really lovely of him, thanks Steve, um, was asking whether I still had my Harley Benton HB52, which is the the guitar that I modified, uh, and uh, I think I did a short video of that as well, by putting two Tone Rider vintage style pickups in it. I was already delighted with it, but I thought that the output was a little bit too hot to to get really nice clean tones from, so I thought the Tone Rider vintage pickups would be a, a good way forward. So what I'm simply going to do for uh, anyone who would be interested in the comparison is uh, briefly introduce the two guitars and then we'll do a quick blind test and uh, give you a chance to see if you can decide which one is the Fender and which one is the Harley Benton. Uh, plenty of this stuff in the internet but <clears throat> I just happen to have these two uh, and therefore I'm in a good position to answer Steve's question. This is my Harley Benton HB uh, 62, I may have said 52, I should have said 62 dB, which is the double bound, it's got that lovely double edge binding, which I think is very classy. This guitar cost about £140 UK, and um, I have modified it now. I, I, as I say, I loved it, I put £50 worth of pickups in, I think it was 50, I'm going to say £55, it was certainly not much more than that for the two uh, pickups. They came in a set from Tone Rider and uh, they are, as I said, the vintage style and they, they, they sound great. They're really, they're really very, very authentic, lovely sounding. It's a guitar that, that I, uh, I keep uh, in a different uh, a, a place that I, that I regularly in. And whenever I pick it up, it simply puts a smile on my face. It feels great, it looks great. That finish is just, you know, it's just fun and fabulous. Above all, what I love about it is the fingerboard. Nicely finished. I didn't do any finishing work on this at all. Uh, at that price it came, nice edges, there's nothing to catch there at all. It's all beautifully finished. And I love the material of the, the neck itself. It's a roasted Canadian maple, I believe. And it's got that lovely vintage, you know, warm look about it. However, all that's irrelevant uh, other than the... It, it, it's all irrelevant unless it sounds great. It plays great. And it sounds, in my opinion, really usable, fantastic and fun. It passes that test that I never want to walk by it without playing it because it's... a great feeling in the hand. Now, <clears throat> that gives you a combined total of just under £200, I think, for that. And uh, this uh, guitar here, which is my my main... Well, I only have the two Telecasters. Uh, this is my main American te uh, Telecaster. This is the American Performer Series, so it's the first level of the, uh, the proper American Fender Series. It also feels great to play. It has a honey burst finish. It's fabulous, absolutely lovely. It has uh, some kind of uh, vintage style pickups in it. I can't recall, I would need to look it up. I'll probably put it in the notes or add it on screen at this point. But uh, the, 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 the thing plays beautifully, it is beautiful. I've always been a little disappointed in one thing about this. I bought it brand new uh, because I always wanted a really good tip. Well, no, that's not true. Since I've realized I love Telecasters and Gretsch's, um, I, I wanted a decent Telecaster and this one came with a couple of high frets so I couldn't get the action down uh, to, to a pleasant level and I had to go back to the store to have the frets levelled. I'm told that's normal for guitars that travel, you know, this one's come across the ocean I suppose but uh, it's disappointing in a guitar that costs basically £1,000 UK roughly. So this is five times more expensive than the other one. Um, I also love it when I plug it in, when I play it, it just brings me immense joy. Love them both, but let's see, <laughs> is one five times better sounding than the other? Can you tell which one is which? So I haven't played either of them uh, plugged in, so I'm going to do that now, but the final thing to reassure you about is that both of these guitars uh, have got 
honest uh, single coil pickups. There's no uh, mini humbuckers in, in, in there. They're not uh, stacked humbuckers, you know, the noiseless type thing. So they're both just plain single coil pickups. They have exactly the same string uh, strings and string, ga string gauge. I, I know I play an unusually heavy string. Um, it's a, it's, it's a, a set with a wound third uh, Daddario. In fact, I'm going to just give you the gauge in case anyone cares. What I use is the Daddario Nickel Wound XL because I cannot play open chords on an electric guitar uh, with an unwound G because the G, I just stretch, I must be a really brutally hard player. I, I, I stretch it like quarter tones up and everything sounds ridiculous. I go into a shop to try a guitar and they're always strong with really light thin strings. I play a few chords, everyone looks at me as if to say, ah, poor old guy. One day he'll be able to play if he just learns a few of the chords properly. <laughs> but anyway, these are uh, um, 11 to 49 uh, with a 21 wound thud. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the setup. I'm going to make the screen go dark now. And then I'm going to choose one of these two guitars and I'm going to plug it in and you will not know which. I'll just put them on screen as uh, you know, guitar, uh, guitar 1 and guitar 2 or something similar. Okay. Okay, that's guitar one. And now plugging in guitar two.
Okay, so, which one was which? Did I play the Telecaster by Fender first or the Telecaster by Harley Benton first? It'd be fascinating to know. Levels may be slightly different and I have taken the very crude liberty of just simply uh, using the main Telecaster setting that I use on my Headrush MX-5, uh, which is what you're hearing the sound uh, for the guitar through. And uh, it's exactly the same for both. There is no question you can tweak the sound on the MX-5 uh, multi-effects unit to, to just improve uh, the, the match to each of these guitars. So I think either guitar can do a great job for you. I think there's no point in being daft about that. There's not a bad guitar here. They're both great guitars that can be made to sound fabulous. I didn't do that. So just same guitar, same strings, same amplifier settings just to give a little sense. And I know they were a little dirty, a little bit gritty. That's just because that's how I tend to play the, the, the Telecasters generally. So, let me know how you got on. Thank you.